Fokazani Kuk has revealed that the MDCT received assistance from the state through judicial and parliamentary processes in their fight to destroy the Chamisa-led MDC alliance. This would seem to confirm the long-held belief that the state is sponsoring turbulences in the opposition party. Coop and her former ally, Douglas Munzara, have crossed paths with the former deputy prime minister and Makakoba legislator on Friday announcing she had taken over leadership of the party in an acting capacity. She charged Munzara had expelled himself from the opposition party by writing to the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, ZEC, on January 3, declaring that he was the leader of the MDC alliance. Coop made the statements during a press conference held in Bulawayo on Friday. Munzara had the previous day pulled out and flagged a suspension letter that he said he had handed to Coop over a week before. The letter states that Coop had been suspended for transgressions including unholy alliances with perceived enemies and sabotaging party programs. In her visibly emotional address to the press on Friday, Coop unwittingly disclosed that the MDCT enjoyed the backing of government-sponsored processes in the fight against Chamisa's MDC alliance. She was appealing to the state not to interfere in her current fight with Munzara. I would like to conclude by emphasizing that today the 21st day of January 2022, the MDCT has two formations," Coop said. I am therefore pleading with other political parties. As the MDCT, I am calling on Parliament, a legislative organ of the state, to desist from taking sides as well as local government, it happened before, and it must not happen again. At the same time, I am calling on the Ministry of Justice to be fair and just in dealing with our matter. Munzara and Coop have long faced accusations of being strange bedfellows with Nangagwa's ZANU PF. On June 11, 2021, Munzara met with Nangagwa at State House, where he reportedly sought to push for the scrapping of by elections now scheduled for March 26. They met again under suspicious circumstances on January 6 soon after the president proclaimed the by-election date. Munzora was given funds under the Political Parties Finance Act despite a court order barring the disbursement of such funds before the challenge by the MDC alliance was concluded, a development that seemed to confirm MDCT and ZANU-PF had a special spot for each other. Munzora has so far received millions of dollars under the fund. He has also enjoyed favorable publicity in the state media, something that has been unheard of for any opposition party. Munzora has also declared his recognition of President Emerson Nangagwa's leadership, with his official, Morgan Femi describing the president as the best. Munzora described Nangagwa an illegitimate leader when he was still MDC Alliance Secretary General. MDC Alliance leader Nelson Chamisa has refused to recognize Nangagwa as a legitimate president. Suspicion that the MDCT was working with ZANU-PF to influence judiciary processes swirled when Munzora and MDCT Chairman Morgan Kamichi in March 2020 read a prepared speech soon after the Supreme Court ruled that Chamisa was not the bona fide leader of the MDCT. The development raised questions on the independence of the judiciary, with many asking how Munzora and Kamichi knew that the ruling would be in their favor and brought a prepared speech to the court. The courts later made several more rulings in favor of Coop and Munzara, which the opposition complained about. In another curious scenario, Munzara took over the Morgan Richard Spangerai party offices from the MDC alliance with the help of the army and the police. Chamisa's MDC alliance has since been barred from accessing the party offices which have literally been guarded day and night by police and soldiers. Last week too, a leaked audio went viral with Kamichi disclosing that Munzara was working with ZANU-PF. 
Kamichi, also revealed in the audio that Munzara had treacherously ascended to power in the 2020 Extraordinary Congress, whose results were disputed by Coop. But yesterday, Coop spokesperson Tandon Blovu denied the allegations that Coop had let the cat out of the bag by claiming the MDCT was getting favors from Nangagwa. He said Coop was in fact a victim of a partial parliament which favored Chimisov at her expense. The Parliament and Justice Ministry should not side with Munzara as they did with Jamisa against Dr. Koop in 2018 when she was recalled, Mblovu said. The Parliament has not been fair on how it dealt with the dispute between Dr. Koop and Jamisa. In 2018, Parliament dismissed her letter in which she had notified it to stop considering Jamisa's intention to recall her, and she was subsequently recalled. The Justice Ministry also went on to allocate funds under the Political Parties, Finance, Act to Chimisa, after she had advised that the party did not qualify for the funds. That is the partiality that she was referring to and that it must not happen again in this case. Dottie said Coop was referring to Chimisa when she said other parties should not interfere in her dispute with Munzara, although suspicion was rife that she was referring to President Emerson Nangagwa. Political analyst and the late Spangerai's former advisor Alex Magesa said the Munzara coup dispute marked the collapse of a judicially reconstructed party. This circus is a new nadir for the small pseudo-opposition party which owes its existence to a controversial act of judicial reconstruction in March 2020, Magesa said. In March 2020, the Supreme Court ruled Chamisa was not the legitimate leader of the MDC. Coop had approached the High Court in the fight for the MDC and she won her case, leading to Chamisa's appeal at the Supreme Court. Coop was voted in as MDCT's deputy president in 2014, but years later, Stangerai appointed Chimisa and Mitsuri as his additional deputies. She argued that this was in contravention of the party's constitution and that in fact she should have assumed leadership of the party when Stangerai died. The political partnership between Munzara and Coop has long been a marriage of convenience fortified solely by a jointly held contempt toward Chimisa. For Chimisa and the MDC alliance, the scene of their opponents bloodletting without provocation must be sweet news, Magesa wrote. In a viral leaked telephone conversation between Kamichi and a party youth, only identified as Nira from Chigudu, Kamichi trashed Munzara's claim to legitimacy. Therefore, we boycotted the election, elective Congress, after the second provinces had voted. So, it was not a Congress at all. That was one of the bogus things that we did come across. Those results were just announced by one group of people who did all the counting and everything. So, they announced what they wanted as we had withdrawn from participation, Kamichi said.